So, welcome back to uh, NPTEL lecture series on total synthesis of natural products. Um, the last four lectures uh, we talked about uh, many total synthesis of trichonemes and there are many more methods for making five membered rings. So, today I will just talk about few methods where five membered rings can be made and also discuss one more total synthesis of trichonemes. Poisson Kahn reaction is one reaction where routinely people use to make 5 member rings. See for example, if you have a double bond and a triple bond that appropriately placed, then if you treat with dicopalt octacarbonyl and followed by oxidation with N-methylmorpholine inoxide or dimethyl sulfoxide, one can get the corresponding cyclopentenum. So, depends on the ring size you get the other ring can be 5 membered, 4 membered or any ring, but this Poisson Kahn reaction will give 5 membered ring. Particularly this reaction works on the other side if it is 6 membered and 5 membered. Okay. So, here we have a diquinine structure and this is another example where you can see you can put a heteroatom. Okay. Uh, it can be the heteroatom can be oxygen or heteroatom can be nitrogen. Still this reaction works well to give the corresponding cyclopentenone and one can also use other reagents for example, one can use Wilkinson catalyst the same condition you have a double bond, you have a triple bond, but here for the carbonyl source you do this reaction in under carbon monoxide atmosphere and you also have to use silver triflate to get the corresponding bicyclic compound. One can also use molybdenum hexacarbonyl in DMSO and if you reflex at 100 degrees you can do the same thing and this is an interesting combination where instead of double bond you have an allene. Okay. So, allene that internal double bond undergoes Poisson Kahn reaction. Uh, so, you see this double bond the terminal double bond becomes exocyclic double bond in this case. And one can also use this for a hetero triquinates in this particular case you have a nitrogen and with this nitrogen one could make the aza triquinates using Poisson Kahn reaction as the key reaction. And there are other methods as I said uh, for used for making 5 member ring. One of the methods which, are, which is quite frequently used is vinyl cyclopropane. As you know vinyl group uh, attached to cyclopropyl can undergo like this rearrangement for example, you can write like this. The cyclopropanes are like double bond and uh, sometimes uh, cyclopropane as you know because of its ring strain it tries to open and if you heat it this can undergo this type of cyclopropane vinyl cyclopropane rearrangement to give cyclopentene. So, here is another example. So, this can undergo the vinyl cyclopropane rearrangement to give this diquinine. This is another interesting example where you have cyclopropane attached to the double bond and the double bond is part of a 5 membered ring. So, this will give you this enol TMS ether and one can hydrolyze this to give the corresponding heat. If you hydrolyze this with acid, you will get the corresponding diquinine having a carbonyl group. So, this final cyclopropane rearrangement also has been used to make at least 2 5 member rings if not for 3 or 4. Then the standard reaction which is routinely used uh, for making 5 member ring is aldol reaction. So, you have an aldehyde here and methyl group. So, you can generate anion here that anion can attack this aldehyde followed by elimination of water you can in, you can get the 5 membered ring and same thing you can see you have methyl group you can generate anion add to this aldehyde. So, that also will give a 5 membered ring of course, this has been used in the total synthesis of one of the triquinines that is a tri linear triquinine and this has been used this particular example has been used in the total synthesis of an angular triquinate. So, you can see you can generate anion and attack this aldehyde 
followed by elimination of water you get angular triclinic. So alkylation, aldol reaction, uh, sometimes even uh, Michael addition or opening of the epoxides have been used successfully for making 5 ohm bottling. So if you look at this example, it's a beta keto ester. So one can easily generate anion here and intramolecular recent to substitution will give this 5 ohm keto. Okay. So if you decarboxylate, then you get corresponding ketone, otherwise you get the corresponding beta keto ester. The next example, you have a cyanide, of course because of the cyanide, you can remove this proton. Once you remove this proton using a base, maybe you need strong non-nucleophilic bases like LDA that can immediately open this epoxide to give the corresponding 5 membered ring. And this particular example is very interesting. You have a Michael acceptor and you have a Michael donor, it is a keto ester, beta keto ester, the anion can be easily generated selectively. This can undergo a 1,4 addition, intramolecular 1,4 addition to form 2 5 member ring. It is a diquinine. Now one can remove this ester because it is a beta keto ester. So that will give symmetrical molecule, then this double bond can either cyclize here or it can cyclize at this carbon. So that that is how one can make angular triquinates. So Michael addition followed by an aldol reaction one can construct a triquinane and in this case it is a it is an angular triquinane. So there is another reaction which is called Nazarov cyclization. See this Nazarov cyclization is nothing but if you have a dienone okay, so like this you have then this on treatment with acid you get corresponding 5 membered ring and more substituted double bond. You get a cyclopentenone and the double bond is more substituted. Okay. And you can also control the regioselectivity of the double bond form. Say for example, if you take this example, okay, so there are two possibilities, one what I have written here, another one it can also form like this, is not it? But between these two only this forms. The reason is as soon as it coordinates with Lewis acid, more than this double bond migrating, this double bond will migrate and because of the lone pair here, next this double bond will migrate. So that will give you this as the major product. So, Depending on what you want, you can use a substituent in the dienone to get exactly where the double bond is required. You can also use silicon, silicon also used to control the double bond which is required. So for example, if you want the double bond to be here in this double bond here, so then what you do, you put a silicon at that carbon. Okay. So now what happens? Instead of this double bond migrating, first this will migrate followed by migration of this. So what will happen? Silicon is known to stabilize carbocation at beta carbon. So this is called beta silicon effect, silicon carbon bond can be easily cleaved. Okay. And Particularly if it has to neutralize the positive charge at the beta carbon, then this can be easily cleaved to get this dienyl ether. This upon hydrolysis will give you this ketone. So basically under normal natural cyclization you get more substituted double bond whereas if you use a silicon then you can also get less substituted double bond as the major product. Okay. Then there is another very interesting methodology, it is a tandem reaction where oxycope rearrangement followed by ring closing methodology, it is almost like oxycope rearrangement followed by intramolecular mukayama type aldol reaction. Okay. 
So, that also could be successfully used or has been used for the synthesis of triquinates. So, for example, this bicyclic compound if you treat with vinyl lithium, if you treat with vinyl lithium you get this intermediate. Now, if you look at this intermediate, this intermediate is a classical oxycope intermediate, classical oxycope intermediate. So, this will give you the corresponding 8 membered ring. So, this will this 4 membered ring also will break and here it will form 6 membered ring. So, overall it will form an 8 membered ring. And if you look at this particular product in that process you are generated an enol TMS ether and also another double bond which is in conjugation with enol TMS ether. Okay. So, you can call this as vinyl augus enol ether. So, this what will happen this lone pair or this silicon bond come here this will come and this will attack the carbonyl. So, that will give you the corresponding triquinate, the linear triquinate is not it. You have 5 membered, 8 membered. So, the 8 membered ring cyclizes intramolecularly to give this linear triquinate. Okay. So, what I will do, uh, I will talk about one more total synthesis as I mentioned that is about the synthesis of Coriolin. This is reported by Paul Wenders group and uh, interestingly what he has used is again little bit extension of the method which I discussed in the last slide where you convert the 8 membered ring into 2 5 membered rings and this 8 membered ring he made using 4 plus 2 4 plus 4 cycloaddition. See 4 plus 2 will give 6 membered, 4 plus 4 will give 8 membered ring and this 4 plus 4 can be done using photochemical condition. Okay. How he successfully accomplished the total synthesis of Coriolin using this 4 plus 4 cycloaddition and also the trans annular cyclization which I briefly discussed. For that his starting material is methyl isobutyrate. So, you take isobutyric acid and the methylate that upon treatment with LDA you generate anion here and that you quench with this allyl block substituted. So, you introduce a diene. So, you have already introduced one diene. As I said the key reaction is 4 plus 4. So, now you have already a 5 pi 4 pi unit you need another 4 pi unit. So, you reduce the ester to corresponding primary alcohol and oxidize that under Swan condition to get aldehyde. So, now use another 4 carbon unit that is the corresponding lithium add to this aldehyde you can see you got a tetraene okay a diene here diene here so a tetraene and this tetraene can undergo an intramolecular 4 plus 4 cycloaddition reaction okay so the intramolecular 4 plus 4 cycloaddition it can undergo so before that you can you have to protect the hydroxyl group you protect the hydroxyl group as mom ether then you do this uh, photochemical reaction. So, there are two ways to look at it one it undergoes 4 plus 4 cycloaddition or one can think about doing a 2 plus 2 between these two followed by co-prearrangement 2 plus 2 followed by co-prearrangement to give this cyclo octadiene. Okay. It is a symmetrical compound cyclo octadiene symmetrical compound is it symmetrical? No, because you have two methyl groups, mom group, it is not a symmetrical compound. Nevertheless, you can selectively do hydroboration on one of these double bonds. Which double bond will undergo hydroboration? That too, if you have to use 9 BBN. So, 9 BBN is a bulky hydroborating agent. So, obviously, it will not go to tetra substituted and it will go to the di substituted. And then even di substituted there are two possibilities one this way it will add other one so this is a this is b 
So, obviously the addition of hydroboration will take place by A and not by B. The reason is BBN is bulky ok. So, this side you have already methyl group so it will not go to left hand side. So, this upon hydroboration with 9 BBN and oxidation with hydrogen peroxide you will get the secondary alcohol and this secondary alcohol you can oxidize using PDC to get the corresponding ketone ok. Then you treat with BF3 ethyrate. So, BF3 ethyrate what will happen? It will coordinate here and this double bond will come followed by elimination ok. So, when you have when the double bond comes here, so you will have carbocation and that carbocation will lose a proton and you will get this ok. So, now you have got the linear triquinate. So, few more functional group transformations should be done. So, what are the functional group transformation? Again you have to do hydroboration oxidation. So, you have a tri substituted double bond and if you do hydroboration oxidation this carbon you will get or you will introduce a hydroxyl group ok. So, you introduce a hydroxyl group and once you have this hydroxyl group oxidized with PDC you get a ketone and basically you need to introduce a double bond here and you have a you have to introduce a double bond. Both sides you have to introduce double bonds. So, if you treat with methyl chloride not only it will become methylate, but also it will undergo elimination to get the corresponding enone ok. So, once you have this enone basically you need a epoxide epoxide here and you need epoxide here that means you also have to introduce a double bond here. So, what you do before that you migrate this double bond here. So, potassium tetrabutoxide you migrate the double bond then reduce the ketone to alcohol. Now, if you treat with MCPBA you get corresponding epoxide ok. Then as I said you need an epoxide here and also this should be ketone. So, you oxidize the alcohol using PCC to get the ketone. Later a double bond should be introduced. So, that can be done in two steps. First you generate enolate using LDA and that time what happens when you generate enolate with LDA the epoxide also will be open the epoxide also will be open. So, you get corresponding alcohol. Now, this side you have the enolate that upon quenching with this reagent where this will go to the corresponding carbon ok. So, this is nothing but uh, oxidized version of diphenyl disulfide one of the sulphur is oxidized other sulphur is remaining as such. The sulphide upon further oxidation with MCPBA it gives phenyl sulfoxide this upon heating it undergoes elimination of phenyl sulfonic acid to get the ex exocyclic double bond ok. To complete the total synthesis you need epoxide here and you need epoxide here. So, this was done by treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide you get both the epoxides and finally, to complete the total synthesis what is required is removal of this MOM group. So, that was done using HCl THF and that gave the final natural product that is Coriolan. If you look at this molecule how many chiral centers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Out of 11 core carbons if you look at the triquinane there are 11 core carbons in that 8 are chiral centers, 8 are chiral centers. See that is the beauty of this synthesis ok. So, highly selective total synthesis and here he has used the intramolecular cyclization as well as 4 plus 4 cycloaddition to get this triclonines. So, he reported this total synthesis way back in 1987 and he started with methyl isobutyrate and key step involved in this total synthesis are 4 plus 4 cycloaddition one can also give explanation that it can be a combination of intramolecular 2 plus 2 followed by 
another electrocyclization that is you have a diene 1 5 diene that can undergo cycloaddition reaction. And finally, a trans cellular cyclization takes place between the 8 membered ring diene, the octa diene. So, one of the double bond you oxidize to ketone, then you carry out this intramolecular cyclization using trans cellular cyclization protocol. Overall, this total synthesis was accomplished in 4 longest linear steps, but the yield was not very high, so yield was about 0.23. Nevertheless, uh, if you look at the total synthesis of this molecule reported by Coriolan, it involved 3, 4 key reactions and these key reactions actually really worked well so that you could accomplish the total synthesis of Coriolan. Okay. So, with this uh, we have completed uh, the total synthesis of all the triquinanes uh, whatever we plan to cover and uh, next week onwards we will start talking about uh, 6 membered rings and then slowly we move to alkaloids and uh, um, terpenoids, okay. so thank you.